All right, hey guys, Steph here from Barbell Sanctuary, and uh, today I'm taking off on a hike with my two buddies, Jesse and Chad, or as he wants to be called... Tubby McGee. Tubby McGee, and no, changed his mind <laughs> with the funny name. Anyway, we've been here for about a half hour. Uh, our equipment keeps failing, batteries keep dying, but we're going to take off now, and I'm just going to record the, the whole trip, and we'll see how it goes. It's a three-day trip. We're going to spend two nights. Our packs are all about 40 pounds. First time hiking for me outside of the military. Uh, Chad just did the Fundy Trail, so he's got a little bit of experience. Jesse's done a few hikes, I think. I walked around the neighborhood. He, he's walked around his neighborhood, so we'll see. I got lots of Skittles. We should be good. Anyway, we'll keep you guys updated. Wish us luck. So the importance of checking your gear, we haven't even left the trail yet. And Jesse's sitting there trying to fix his walking stick, so it's a good start. <laughs> uh, we're about just two and a half kilometers in. It's going well. The terrain's not too bad. It only started getting hilly right now. Beautiful day. It's supposed to rain today, but it hasn't rained yet. Let's hope it keeps going this way. Well, don't bounce on it, Jesse. That's how it breaks. That's how you test it. I think we're good. Well, that, that looks that looks safe. Chad's got the dexterity of a drunk elephant, so. <laughs> yeah, you know it. Well, we're about seven, almost seven kilometers in now. It's going pretty good. Only got about an hour and 45 minutes of walking, so we're doing a really good time. It's an easy trail, which is good because I mean, we're all kind of beginner hikers. Oh, this way. Um, but yeah, we're starting to feel a little bit of hot spots in our feet. So next kind of like camp, camping area, we're gonna stop and just take our, our shoes off for a little bit, stretch, and uh, just tape up a couple of the hot spots before they get worse. Because if you can let them get into a blister, that's where it starts to get bad and unmanageable. So you want to manage your hot spots and your blisters before they get too bad. Beautiful, beautiful weather though. This is good. There, coming up to the 10K mark. Uh, I think so. Soon, anyways. You passed it back there. Yeah. What? Back there. Yeah. Oh. The sign was back that way. Just around. Oh, I guess we passed the 10K mark. So, pull out the manual. So, yeah, it's 10.8. So we got a little bit 10 kilometer mark tree before the junction with Sand Hill Side Trail. Yeah, That's with nice. a total road al altitude gain of 24 meters, Side Trail leads to Penn Glen Road with good parking. Main trail crosses Mill Creek and proceeds towards Tower Road, which is where we're headed. So we're gonna cross a small brook flows to the right and another small brook that flows to the left. And then we are at the campsite the at campsite. 10 All right, so we're gonna keep going. We're gonna take a little break at the 10K mark because I need a coffee. <laughs> we're at the 10K mark and we're just stopped, tape up our feet, take a little break, we're making a coffee. We're sweating quite, quite a bit. We're getting good weather though. It, it's not very sunny, but it's not raining or anything, so we're about halfway, really, for today, because I think our campsite's at 22, is what we want to... I think we can make it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then that puts us uh, almost to the finish line for the next day, and then we should be out of the woods fairly early on Sunday at this rate. Yeah. Just using my little solo stove to boil the water. I like this because it just uses twigs as a fire source, and it's, it's still contained, so it's safe. I just have it on some rocks here, but have my instant coffee I brought. It's uh, Nescafe Dark Roast. It's actually not bad. Lies. Well, for instant, it's okay. Some of us are rocking the Aerocrats. <laughs> How much weight is that? Uh, it's less, <laughs> it, was, it wasn't very much actually. Surprisingly no. enough, it's plastic, right? So it's late. I, uh, actually, I would have probably brought one, but they, they ran out on Amazon, so. Yeah, I like the idea of the smaller ones, like what Jesse's got. I'm curious to see what that yeah. looks like. I didn't bring it. What? No. 
because I said I was bringing an instant. So sorry, right, you guys have your instant coffee. I could I could have brought his, but uh, I told him he could. Yeah. But I'm a morning coffee drinker. Oh, me too. I'll be up at like five, drinking two or three coffees before you guys wake up. What was that? That was my poles. Oh, <laughs> what's with you guys? Their poles keep falling left and right. This is a bit slower, but no fuel, right? So you no. get constant fuel from nature itself. So yeah. Yeah, these smaller stoves like this one will do uh, a full container, which is what two and a half cups or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it takes about three minutes. Yeah, that's fast. Yeah, yeah. But this is ready, and then I'll just let this little fire burn off. It gives you dry off my shirt a little bit, and because it's a rocket stove, it actually burns it to nothing almost. Now, when you're done, will you have to dump and dump? You'll have ash. You'll have to deal with though, I assume, right? It's basically powder you'll see it burns it because it it cycles no you don't need anything to warm that up that was Jesse? pretty quick nope. yeah like really realistically i think that's for the amount of time that that took there's nothing wrong with that no that's mighty big coffee well i didn't make the whole thing oh that's quite mighty big coffee <laughs> <laughs> what we got 10k to go all right well, i'm gonna enjoy this and then we'll get back on the trail little Little snack from Trail of Berries. Look at all these blueberries. Makes a nice little snack on the way. We're at uh, kilometer 12 now. It's going well. Mmm. Mm. Oh, good. Coming up to the 12k mark. Well, I moved, but. I was actually right bang on. It's the first time during the trip that my watch is actually, it's a Garmin Instinct by the way, it was actually bang on with the uh, the trail marker. But my God, what a beautiful day. Look at that. Can't ask for better therapy than this. Yeah, our drinking waters that we filtered through last time wasn't the best. It came out yellow, but Still good. Hey, you in the back. What? <laughs> Taking a picture. Yeah, we're just impressed by this big tree. Didn't take much, I guess. You don't see them this big anymore. It's pretty big. Baltimore campsite can be reached by turning right at the trail railroad tracks. You see 340 meters to clear area with the short trees and left the track. Fifteen! Woo! <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I'm going to take this opportunity just to talk to the camera a little bit. Uh, the guys are ahead. I was trying to make another walking stick or something. I don't mind. I just want to say we're at about 20 kilometers now. We're almost done for the day. This is just amazing, and I think for all three of us, you know, there's a lot of stress right now with COVID. Just life in general for everybody, I think. Everybody's dealing with something, and all three of us have commented how... How good we feel. I mean, physically, we're sore, our feet hurt, you know, our shoulders are sore, we got blisters, we're thirsty. Well, not really, but I, that's all physical. And I think the hardest part in life is, is the mental uh, pain and suffering and 
that's why I started my channel is being active, being physical, doing exercise, being healthy. It really does make a big difference. And now combining activity with the outdoors, um, it's just incredible. So if you haven't tried hiking any of the trails where you live, you know, go get some information. Start with just little small day hikes. It's, I don't know, it's an amazing experience. I love it. This is something I think I'm gonna pick up. I know Amy Jo, my wife, she's jealous that I'm out here right now. So I'm gonna plan to do a hike with her because she's active as well. But yeah, I can definitely see myself doing this a lot more for, for you know, for therapeutic reasons. Anyway, I'm catching up to the guys now. Uh, we're about to set up base camp, so I'll show you guys what we end up having there. And we're gonna hunker down for the night. So the guys are getting a little worried. This is supposed to be one of our main water sources. And it's empty. I'm okay right now. I have two and a half liters left. <clears throat> of course I'll share. Um, they're starting to run out of water. I think there's a water source maybe three, three kilometers from here. So we might keep pushing on. We'll see. So we found we found a water source, but it's not the greatest. The water's running a little bit, but I have this Sawyer mini filter. It actually works pretty good. I have two bottles filled now, but because most of the streams that we're going by are actually, they're dry. So since we do have water now, I haven't been filling my, my water bladder in my pack, but I'm gonna want the extra water now, just in case, because we don't know what the other streams are going to look like. So we're all going to fill the max capacity right now before we hunker down for the night. I'm going to have five liters of water, which is pretty heavy. But like I said, we need to cook supper tonight, uh, breakfast. And we all know I'm going to use at least one liter for coffee. So get that ready. Yeah. And then hopefully we find more streams on the way. Because right now everything's dry. The next campsite should be where we're staying for the night. Ah, please be the campsite. Like a road. Oh no, is it? Yeah. Yeah. We've done about 24 kilometers right now. We're trying to find our campsite. It's starting to rain, so and we are done for the day. Oh, 22. God. The guidebook is... I don't know, there's something missing in that guidebook because we're supposed to hit a campsite at 21.4 and we haven't hit anything yet. So we're at the 22 kilometer mark right now. The guys are in the back. I just kind of ran up a little bit to scout out the area. And I'm going to wait for them here because he's got the guidebook. We'll see if there's a campsite coming up. If not, we might just hunker down in the woods here. It's getting late, it's getting dark, and it's starting to rain, and we need to set up camp, and we don't want all our gear to get wet, so... Anyway, fun day anyways. Uh, let's hope we can find some campsite soon. I was waiting for a while, they weren't coming, so I doubled back. They left the tree in the road for me, apparently, and they found a spot. So... What? Yeah, yeah, so you yelled. We're gonna camp out here. For the night, I guess. Let's go see what this looks like. Nice mossy area. It'll be nice and comfy. Spot up there on the other side of the fire for you. Perfect. Nice flat spot. Hey. Right. There's a spot for Jesse in his hammock. It's a sturdy. There. How are you feeling, Chad? Fantastic. Yeah? No. Jesse? No? No, I'm lying. You're lying. I am feeling tired, hungry, and ready for some hot meal, and a good night's sleep. Good. How about you? I'm not bad. Yeah? Pretty good. 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 Yeah. I'm alright. You're just saying that. My, my feet. Jerk. <laughs> no, I'm sore. I'm sore. My shoulders are sore. My feet are wet. I 
as I stake my thing. It's time to stop. I mean, we're at the 22. Uh, I, hit, I saw the 22 kilometer marker okay. back there, actually. So, yeah, I was okay. just waiting there. So, uh, but we've actually done about 25 kilometers with the back and forth and yeah. getting water. So, anyways, going to set up camp and we'll see you guys later. I just want to showcase how Jesse over there got here way before me and he's setting up his hammock which he says is the best oh sure you were no you weren't you left a stick out for me now I'm gonna set up a tent there I'm done well I'm not done I got the rain fly but still I'm gonna finish way before him day one is complete Chad, you feeling better? Yep. Chad's feeling better after some Mr. Noodles. Jesse's hanging out the uh, hanging up the bear bag right now, and we're just gonna let this fire go out, and then uh, off to bed for the night. Also, I'd like to add that I caught my shoe on fire, so there's a hole in it now. So that's great. <laughs> Should be fine though. I'll show you guys in the morning. But yeah, there's a there's a hole in my shoe now because I was trying to dry them out near the fire. Rookie mistake. Uh, but other than that, great day. At least 25 kilometers down. So we'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. Oh, all right. Good morning. So day two about the beginning. So we're just taping up our feet, putting some moleskin on some blisters. Nothing too bad, but I'd rather get them before they get worse. The night was pretty good. I slept all right. You, Chad? Yeah, slept great. Except you're snoring. <laughs> yeah, he was stuck between me and Jesse. We each had our own shelters, but we all snored. So it was a good spot with the moss, putting the, my little mattress on the moss. It was, uh, it was comfy, so that was good. I was a little cold. I only brought a fleece to sleep in. I think it, it went down to what, like 10 degrees last night? It was cold. Yeah, it was cold, so I was I was fine though, but in the morning when I woke up between like four and six by the time I got out of No, I only got out of bed around eight. Jesse right. got attacked by a bat, apparently. Yeah, he's got a hammock and he said the bat was flying in around his Did it make that sound? Yeah. What sound did it make? Say it loud. <laughs> I think you were dreaming, I don't more think high pitch. You could hear the bat sonar. <clears throat> Before we go, I'm gonna show you my shoe that I was trying to dry yesterday that caught on fire. Is it focusing? Wait. No, it didn't catch on fire. It was on fire. <laughs> it lit it on fire. <laughs> yeah, so I know it's not focusing right now, but that's a hole and I put some uh, Gorilla Tape in there. Yeah, so my shoe and half my lace. He was fired up about the walk. Oh, you and your puns. So that's our campsite. I know I didn't take a video this morning, but you know what? I, I wanted to enjoy my coffee and I didn't feel like filming that early and this trip is more about enjoyment than making the video so we're starting day two chad's feeling a lot better i think he he sweat too much yesterday so he needed some some water and some rest we're pretty low on water everything's dry so hopefully we find a water source um i oh, did I have my urine. <laughs> yeah but you don't pee enough for that I'm peeing right now. are you filtering it i'm putting it in my hand for later okay um, I had about a liter of coffee, so that's my hydration for today. And I do have a liter left in my camelback. Jesse still has a bunch of water because he didn't drink coffee because he's weird. And Chad's got about a liter. So we're going to head out and we'll see you guys on the trail. All right, so we've been out of water for maybe 10K now. So, well, we're not out, out, but anyway. Oh, we're out, we, no one's drinking that stuff. <laughs> we found this beautiful flowing river. It's a little steep, so I'm gonna record in case I fall. So you guys can follow my journey down here. <laughs> oh, it's actually not bad with the sticks. And I'm down. Oh, beautiful. Oh. If I didn't tape my feet up like 
10 minutes ago, I might uh, go in there. Anyway, we'll see. Time to get some water. It's the nice thing about quick dry shirts. I'm gonna wash it. Sweat quite a bit yesterday, so won't be as stinky today. I have another shirt, but I wanna keep it for the last day. And it's nice and sunny out, so I'm just gonna hang the shirt off my pack until it dries. Get a little bit of sun. Put them back on after. I don't know if I've shown yet what we're using. We're all using the uh, Sawyer water filters. These are the Sawyer squeezes. The Sawyer squeeze, I guess. And Jesse's got a mini. Yeah, and Jesse's got a mini. The Sawyer squeeze actually is faster. And all you do is you fill this pouch out and then you can squeeze it into just regular water bottles. So I got three of these and plus a camelback. So now that we got a clean water source, we're just filling them all up. And that's how we get our water. And I think these are only what, like 30 bucks, $39? Yeah, it depends if the you filter. get them on sale. Any, yeah. No more than 40 bucks. Yeah, on every penny. Nice second sale. So if you're ever doing the Dobson Trail, try to plan it for, if you want to do it in two days, 25K mark. It's a beautiful little stream. Little footbridge. Oh, it's just a beautiful spot. Unfortunately, we're just starting our day, so we're not going to camp here. Hey, guys. Good luck, guys. Keep going. Yeah, I'm almost That way, yeah. <laughs> to go. They're actually uh, the second group running by. They're actually doing the whole thing. How many? 62 kilometers? Yeah, they're running the, the whole 62 kilometers in one day. So, pretty inspiring. We Back yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we were gonna do it, but then Chad came. So, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> they didn't want to run in two days. So, a little steep section here. Here's where we're gonna film Chad falling to his death. <laughs> if that actually happens, I'll have to edit that out. <laughs> and it'll take the funny out of it. Pretty steep. Yeah, it is. Little string here at the bottom. Uh, so instead of being safe and using my walking stick as a <laughs> safety apparatus, I'm using it as a monopod. And more water as I carry seven liters of water on my back. You good? Hey. Okay. Cool. Go for a coffee. It's early yet, boys. Yeah, it's kinda early. Well, well if you need it. That'll be no, I'm just saying. Yeah. It could. But that'd be Nine kilometers, which is more than half of what we're going to do today. Is it? Oh. oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't realize the next campsite was only in three kilometers. Or we have to almost. Our campsite was what? 21, 22? Uh, yeah, it was just before the 22k mark. Yeah. yeah. So by as the crow flies, according to the trail, we did 21k. What do I mean today? Today, we've only done 5.9. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's push a little further. If I'm still feeling it, then you guys should be fine. <laughs> As a rule of thumb. We got a little friend over here. Eight inch. He just went right in here. How is he? There he is. There.
Okay, so 29 right there is halfway, a little over halfway, so we're a little over halfway done. Almost halfway through day two. Going well, got a few blisters. It's hot today. And a lot more hills, but it's beautiful out. I don't know, I'm having a great time. Okay, we're about almost 11 kilometers in today, so halfway point. It's 2 o'clock. Oh, there's windmills. Can you see that? Hey, windmills. Yeah. Yeah, you guys probably can't see that, but we just happened to come upon this beautiful lookout rest area. So, we're all kind of feeling it today. So, we're going to stop here for a little bit. We are supposed to get a lot of rain during this trip, but we didn't. We're lucky. One well, thing's for sure, the signage is very uh, relevant for this trail. We have to watch out for falling ice. We're going to be uh, very digital. Keep an eye out for that ice. Beautiful but steep. All I can say is don't fall because you're taking me with you. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of distance. Of course I don't. Been hiking with you guys for a few days now. 33. Trail to the right. 34.71 to 33.77, I guess. I don't know what that means. Anyway, it's a Beaverbrook campsite located 90 meters on a side trail to the right at 377 meters. So at 34.71? It must be your elevation. So we gotta go 700 There's meters. A spring location. A good spring is located behind and to the right of the campsite. The water source is in these two upper ponds. The pond where the spring is located is open even in the winter. So we go another 700 meters, I guess. All right, so once again, the recurring theme is we're short on water. Why? Because we decided to come hiking after a dry summer. So anyway, we're low on water again. We're gonna see if there's a, a water source here. Ugh. There is, but it's standing water. Spring. Let's go see. Oh, well, I'm not drinking this. Oh, look. There's the spring. Bubbling at all? Wow. No. It does not look okay. I mean, it's clear. Is it running? Well, it's clear. I guess we're going to have to decide if we're going to drink this or not. I'd rather this water than that water. I wonder how much farther up that pond is. Is it worth looking? Yeah, it's... Like a little further up? It's not really flowing. Oh. It's pretty clear water. So, we have filters anyway, so we're going to drink it. <laughs> 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 that was almost funny. <laughs> what? A yeah, I've got two <laughs> holes going now. Like I'm gonna have to squeeze this with my <laughs> chin. <laughs> that better not have been on video. <laughs> no, it's not. You lie inside of shit. Oh, I think I'm making a shot back. <laughs> Dangerously close. Yeah, so I've got this hole. I got that hole. Tell us about your holes. I've got a pinch this one. Look at him. Work. <laughs> are you? Wait, what are you doing with your mouth? Are you sucking or blowing on the bag? <laughs> I'm pushing down because it's the only thing. So this is how Game we point. get water. The filters are great, but the bags aren't that great. So he's got two different holes now that are not supposed to be there. He, he's just too hard on it. Mine, it's three years old, and it's not. It's not. You're not long. using it. That's right. You could keep it in your house for three years, and it'll be fine. The <laughs> face. I've been using it. Bleep that. <laughs> I've been using it today. <laughs> Christ. Okay. Yeah, I think we're dehydrated a little bit. That's fine. We're off the trail. 
onto a hydro line or an old logging road, but it's kind of cool. The windmills in the background. Six kilometers left to go today, and then tomorrow will be the last stretch. Five? Five, Five kilometers left. And I think we're last. Pretty cool though. I've never been this close to a windmill. They're ginormous. But yeah, our trail has had blue blue markings the whole way. It's such a turn right on the, the logging road. But uh, I haven't seen any blue marks since we turned right. Went about half a K, I guess. So I don't know, we're gonna check the map and see. No, there's no trail. Yeah, so anyway, so we think we may have figured it out, but we're not sure. So we're heading back down, but we're losing a lot of time, so I don't know if we're going to be able to make the six or the last 5K like we wanted tonight. We wanted it to be an easy day on the last day because Chad needs to drive to McAdam and I need to drive back to Bathurst tomorrow, so it's a long drive after a long hike, so we don't want it to be too late, but what we think is the markers are just overgrown, so we weren't able to see them. Anyway, we're gonna go look for them. We looked at the map, see what happens. We found it. So you come out of the woods here, and then I think you just go straight. You see, I and then it, the guide says to go right on the logging road, so we we went right. But you're supposed to just go straight, but there's no markings there. The only markings, there's a tree all the way over here. I think, I think what happened was this road probably wasn't accounted for when that. Yeah, road. we came, came out we there. Came out there so yeah. We would have just walked straight across. Yeah. So yeah. I think, I think our problem was is that this may have been an old logging road, but since then it's been built up maybe, maybe. or this isn't the old logging road. And we just should have kept on going straight because those I assume are the hydro lines they talk about in the guide. So yeah. it's just stuff happens and things don't get updated, but it's too bad there's no blue paint right here or on that post. Or yeah, there should be on the post there or even the rock. There. there was yeah. a big rock there. Anyway, if any of the organizers or volunteers are watching this, yeah, maybe some paint, blue paint on that rock would be a good hint. Thanks. Do you want to keep going or? Because we lost all that time, because we were last, we're gonna start, we're gonna stop here. There's a 36 point something, 36.2. We're not that far from where I uh, last shot the video. And anyway, a beautiful camp spot though. Give you a little tour. Nice little fire pit here. We actually have seating tonight. We didn't have that yesterday. So back there is where I can set up my tent. Jesse's got room for his hammock. Chad is still looking for a spot for your tent. Yeah, I'm either gonna go right here or up there, but this might be flatter. Yeah. Just got a couple roots to deal with, but. Yeah. yeah. There's a, uh, there might be a room where I'm at too for two tents if you wanna listen to me snore. And then over here, we actually have some water. It's pretty clear here. With the filters, we'll be able to drink it. Um, Is that water good? Yeah, the water's good. It's clear. It's running right there. So, and it's clear, clear, clear. So, as long as it's clear, we have filters for the bacteria. So yeah, so we're gonna set up here. Last night, you know, we'd rather we, we debated on pushing till 40, but then we'd be setting up camp uh, after dark like we did yesterday, and you know, it it was fun, but we were like we pushed it, so we were we were done, and then we set up camp. It was dark. We didn't get to enjoy it as much. So now, you know, it's 6, uh, 6.30, so we got lots of time. We can just relax and have a good time. The only thing, I'm going to try to message Amy Jo because I don't know if we got cell reception down here, but I'll just run up the hill, try to send off a text just saying we're okay for the night. All right, good morning. So I realize I haven't taken much video at camp at night, and the reason for that is we're just tired and I want to relax when we when we got to camp so I just put the camera away this is our last night so I figured I'll show you a little bit of our setup um, it's already tore down a bit but here's my little one-man tent without the ran fly it's not too bad it's a little heavy though 
still it's a self-deploying tent so i think that's why it's heavy it's about four and a half pounds so this is the campsite that we got and that's the forest wizard that we encountered Hello. <laughs> that's what happens when you're severely dehydrated and there's uh we have a peeping tom in at the the campsite what are you doing in there chad you don't want to know oh. i'm gliding up you're gliding up. Yep. And there's uh, those the camp wizards, aka Jesse's setup. Uh, Jesse's spa. Let's go see Jesse's spa. He's been soaking his feet and talking about his spa since yesterday. <sighs> My feet are fine, but his feet hurt apparently. Is this your spa over here? Let's give it a shot. It's, it is nice. It is nice, Jesse. Yep. Oh. I think I might just finish my coffee here. This trip is mostly for, you know, me to record a trip with my friends. But I also started Barbell Sanctuary for the mental health aspect of building your own, your own sanctuary. And exercise for me has been my stress relief and helped me out of depression and helps me with my anxiety. This. This trip has just been amazing for all three of us. I mean, everybody suffers from a little bit of something, right? So we've all said that, you know, we haven't thought about anything stressful while we're on the trip. We're just laughing, having fun in nature. We don't have our phones out all the time. It's just, it's great. So I recommend to anyone to go for, for a hike for an overnighter anyways with your buddies. Um, yeah, no, I'm going to do this more often. And I'm going to try to get my family out and doing it if I can get the kids to walk more than two meters without complaining. But we'll see. All right, we'll see you guys on the trail. No, oh, wait. Something's going on over here. Let's go see. Here I go again with my buds. Oh, it's I the can the woods, Only Chad remembers. <laughs> How the song really goes. Hey, Stefan's inside, strike. <laughs> Singing my, my, he blew his ass off again. <laughs> he farts like a sailor who's never seen land. Them good old boys with choking gaseous fumes. Singing, man, I wish that I would die. <laughs> Just like Stefan's insides. Yes, apparently the boys don't appreciate my protein intake during this trip. It's not the intake, so. it's the outtake. <laughs> the exhaust. The outtake that I play. Hey, at least I walk in the back. It lets you get up the hills faster, I think. <laughs> it does? Okay, we'll see you on the trail. This is enough. Last day, and we're off. It's uh, a little late. Quarter after nine. By the time we got out, we were going to try to get up early, but I don't know. We're on a relaxing hiking trip, so it is what it is, and we'll make it out today at some point. Beautiful last day. We were supposed to get rain. We got no rain whatsoever. Nice hill to start the day. <laughs> we're approaching our first marker of the day. First kilometer done, and we got 20, well, 20 kilometers left. Chad said we should be out in an hour. Let's multiply that by six. I don't know. Off we go. You're never gonna look at those pictures. What do you mean I'm never gonna look at those pictures? So I'm gonna take one with us in it. Oh. With this beautiful scenic background. It is beautiful. It's almost dreamy. All right, everybody. Stand in front of this. What? <laughs> one of those would be good, right? No. It's like I gotta get a picture of the rocks without you guys, and then that'll be the good picture. Oh. It's an ankle, uh, like a leg breaker. I mean, mm. beep! Be careful. That's yeah. what you meant to say. If you, you know, I've never actually added beeps into my videos yet, so thanks guys. Now I have yeah. to look that up. Well, I suggest you use something other than a beep. Maybe like a fart sound? Hmm. Would, I don't, I don't have any. funny, right? I don't know where to find those. I know. To find that, yeah. Yeah. It would be... I Actually, you know what sounds a lot like a toot is uh, trees rubbing together. Maybe. That's what I heard. Uh, yeah, maybe yeah, because we've heard... Trees rubbing together? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe during the trip I'll record a few trees rubbing together. Any 
time anybody swears, you just put a tree rubbing together sound. It's yeah, broken. that'll work. Smart. Part of the trail is just amazing. It's also nice and easy to walk here. It's got a nice breeze. It's perfect. Oh, it's so nice. Beware of falling ice. <laughs> Can't do it. It's <laughs> five. Nine kilometers left. So we'll top off before the last leg. And then there's a there's a lake right over here, so I'm gonna go check that out. We think that's the spring. No luck. There we go. To the lake. Nobody needs to see that. <laughs> oh. 50k boys. It's been a long day. We not sure if they were going to make it. for the hill. Hill is so good. I always say hill or high water because I also like wading in water but mostly it's hills. It's not even that big of a hill Chad. It's a pretty good hill. It's a mountain. Don't make it a mole. You walk up it and say it's not a big That's hill. Right. Come, I, back, come back I, and carry me. <laughs> We're nearing the end. We got what? <laughs> Four kilometers left. Up a hill! <laughs> <laughs> Some people are hurting. I'll let you decide who that is. Yes, Someone yes. else is gonna be hurt. <laughs> Here, Jesse. Grab my heel. Pull it towards my butt until I cry. Okay. I'm gonna <laughs> Is that crying yet? Uh, it's close. Just hold it there for a second. Okay, push towards. Push towards. No. Ah! <laughs> oh. I don't know if that helped or not, but it, it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Only 5,000 more kilometers to go. <laughs> Up hills. It's so good. The hill is almost done, I think. Yeah, I see uh, there's a plateau I, I, about a mile up there. I feel so good right now. I'm pumped, like, just pumped. Just pumped. <sighs> I'm sorry, you just look so defeated. Why? It's, uh, it's impossible because I love hills. We're going down the hill now. We are. It's glorious. Do you prefer the downhill? I love both equally as much because you know going up really puts you to oh, the test going up oh yeah mm. you really can't beat that and then mm. going back down mm. it's just a ride 
It's awesome. So whoever you are, we found your victory stash. Thank you. And as tempting as it is, we're yeah. gonna put it back. Oh no, it's Bud Light, never mind. <laughs> yes, but bleh. It's be a, a good water source, but we only have like two kilometers left, so. I know. Oh, it's your favorite. I'm gonna eat this fig bar right here. Because uh -huh. it's delicious. And then you're gonna do I'm your gonna favorite just, activity. I'm fly up this hill. <laughs> I wanna see that. Do you? Yeah. Okay. After I reach the top of it, you gotta stop the film. Yeah, I will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this fig bar though. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're waiting. I it's a big fig bar. He already started. <laughs> That's his speed. Here we go. There's more hill. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Good job. Good job. All right, I'll turn the video off so you can throw up. Can you see? Sorry, I was just being patriotic. One kilometer left. Spirits are good. This is a good spot. To die. All right, we're about to cross the official. Finish line, I guess. No, it's not the official. No, it's not the official. Oh, it's well, the last kilometer. I lied. It's the last kilometer okay. marker, though. They're a bunch of liars. Anyway, 57 kilometers. We did it. <laughs> Good job. Stop the video. Why? Because he wants to swear. He wants. He wants to or swear. He's going to cry <laughs> or poop his pants. <laughs> All right, we are about to officially. Finish this time, unless they lie to me again. Anyway, it's possible. It is possible. If this is the old Shepherdy Road, we have arrived. Yeah. This will conclude our Dobson Trail adventure, which was awesome. Yeah. Mm. Cars. You see Ashley? No, but that is the sign right there to the Fundy Trail. This is it. This is it. This is it. Strong finish. Can you not hurt? Feel great. Oh yeah. Never hurt myself once. Oh. Just well, oh, sorry. I just all the complaining. I wasn't. I wasn't sure. There we go. Oh. Here it is. Finny. Woo! It? Woo! Whoa. Here, come stand here. Get up here. Here. Dobson Trail. We oh did it, boys. Guys, you guys. Still can't see the sign. Oh, it's his sweaty elbows on the way. Oh, boom. In a second, let me move that so I don't you still hurt can't myself. See I can see the sign. There you go. Can't okay. see you. All right. Hey, get in you here, started up. You f***ing you guessed it. Did we really? What are we smelling? Oh, maybe, maybe that's me. Where's Jesse? <laughs> Jesse's not in there. I'm here. I'm here. There. All right. That was Wait. awesome. We did it, boys. Good job. How do you guys feel? Awesome. Good. 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 Glad we did it. Thank All right. You. Highly recommended. Take this pack off. Yeah. What? All right. All right. Here's okay. the camera done. Oh. Ah. Oh.